communique of the 20th Ordinary Summit of the East African Community Heads of States. The heads of state met in a warm and cordial atmosphere. The summit received the report of the Council of Ministers covering the period 23rd February 2018 to 31st January 2019 and commended the Council for the progress made in the implementation of the programs and projects of the community. The summit considered a report of the Council on the implementation of the previous directives and decisions of the summit and directed the Council to implement all outstanding di directives and decisions and report to the 21st summit. The summit received a report on the status of ratification of protocols and directed partner states to ratify all outstanding protocols and the Council to report to the 21st summit. The summit noted the status of resolution of long outstanding non-tariff barriers and directed partner states and the council to resolve them. The summit received a report of the council that all partner states had nominated constitutional experts to work on the constitution of the political confederation. The summit directed the council to cause the experts to provide a preliminary report within seven months. The summit decided that President Yori Kaguta Museveni shall provide political guidance to the exercise. The summit received a progress report on the review of the East African Development Bank Charter to streamline it into the EAC mainstream. The summit directed the Council of Ministers to expedite the process. The summit considered a report on the roadmap for the, acceleration, for the accelerated integration of the Republic of South Sudan into the EAC and directed the council to conclude the process. The summit received a progress report that the verification exercise for the admission of the Federal Republic of Somalia into the East African community had not been undertaken. The summit directed the council to follow up on the matter and report to the 21st summit. The summit considered a report on the modalities for the promotion of motor vehicle assembly in the region aimed at reducing the importation of used motor vehicles from outside the community and directed the council to follow up the matter and report to the 21st summit. The summit received a report on the review of the textile and leather sector in East Africa with a view of, to developing a strong and competitive sector that gives consumers better choices than imported textiles and footwear. The summit directed the council to conclude the matter and report to the 21st summit. The summit recalled its directive of having two deputy secretaries general at the East African community recruited competitively on a rotational basis and decided that the Deputy Secretary General from the United Republic of Tanzania and the Deputy Secretary General from the Republic of Rwanda shall serve their respective two terms in office. The summit received a progress report from His Excellency President Yuri Kaguta Museveni on the EU EAC Economic Partnership Agreement and decided that the EAC engages the European Union on the matter in the next four months to get more clarification on the pertinent issues of concern. Thereafter, partner states who wish to may or may not sign the, Europe, the EAC EU Economic Partnership Agreement. The summit assented to the EAC OS, of OS Bill 2018, the EAC Monetary Institute Bill 2018, and the EAC Supplementary Appropriation Bill 2018. The summit received a report on the financial status of the East African community and directed partner states to fulfill their financial obligations to the community in a timely manner. The summit endorsed the Republic of Kenya's candidature 
for the non-permanent membership of the United Nations Security Council for a two-year term for the period 2021-2022. The summit, pursuant to Article 24.1 of the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community, appointed Honorable Lady Justice Sauda Mjasiri as judge to the Appellate Division of the East African Court of Justice with effect from 13 February 2019. The Honorable Lady Justice Sauda Mjasiri replaces Honorable Justice Edward Rutakangwa, who will be retiring on 12 February 2019. The summit commended Honorable Justice Edward Rutakangwa for his dedicated service to the community. The summit presented awards to the winners of the ESC Students Essay Writing Competition 2017 and 2018 editions, respectively. The summit directed the Council within three months to review the relevant policies and harmonize the framework for importation of goods into the ESC with a view to supporting the growth of local industries. His Excellency President Yuri Kaguta Museveni handed over the chairmanship to His Excellency President Paul Kagame. The United Republic of Tanzania took over as rapporteur from the Republic of Rwanda. The summit thanked His Excellency President Yuri Kaguta Museveni for ably steering the affairs of the community during his tenure. The summit received a report from the facilitator of the Inter-Burundi Dialogue, His Excellency Benjamin Mkapa, former President of the United Republic of Tanzania. The summit thanked the facilitator for his contribution to the dialogue during his tenure. The summit decided to consult further on the Inter-Burundi Dialogue process. Their Excellencies, President Yori Kaguta Museveni of the Republic of Uganda, President Paul Kagame of the Republic of Rwanda, President Uhuru Kenyatta of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Gaston Sindimo, First Vice President representing President Pierre Nkurunziza of the Republic of Burundi, and Honorable Paul Moyom Akek, Minister of Trade, Industry, and ESC Affairs representing President Salvakir Mayadit of the Republic of South Sudan, thanked their host, President Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli of the United Republic of Tanzania for the warm hospitality extended to them and their delegations during their stay in Arusha. Done at Arusha this first day of February 2019. Thank you.